such a great little restaurant, actually a big restaurant, it's expanded a lot over the course of the last few years. But it's one of those places, there's so many Mexican restaurants in Chicago. This mm -hmm. is Mexican with Cuban and a little bit of Caribbean. Oh. My family's actually from the Caribbean, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons I went to this restaurant at first. And they have a lot of traditional Caribbean dishes, uh, but they also have the Mexican dishes too. They have a dish that's very similar to fajitas and things that most people are familiar with, but just kicked up a notch. But there's a lot of surprises on the menu too. While there are very traditional Mexican dishes and Cuban dishes, there are things like baked goat cheese, which you would never really expect to find at a Latino restaurant which or a Caribbean great, restaurant. By the way. Oh, <laughs> yum! The baked goat cheese actually comes with these little crostinis, and you with spicy tomato sauce, and you could just paste it onto these mm -hmm. little crostinis, and you eat them. The appetizer right, was a taste of Cuba, which mm -hmm. was a great array of, of foods and empanadas and so forth that were just to die right. for. They were really flavorful. Nothing that was like too spicy that like turned me off at all, but mm -hmm. it was just really wonderful food. And again, you said the rice and beans were a great complement yeah. there, and some fried plantains, which was mm. just that sweet part that you needed to mm -hmm. to balance the tomato and the yeah. garlic. It was it was really amazing. I had a, a fish. Uh, almond encrusted halibut with jalapeno mashed potatoes. That it was really nice to taste the flavor of the jalapenos instead of just the heat mm -hmm. of the jalapenos. Because I like spicy food, but if it overwhelms the flavor, right. then it to count. You know, then you're just tasting the hot. When we were there, we got there around seven. No wait. The table right next to us. We were sitting next to a couple on one side and a bigger group of people from, I think, Argentina on the other side of us. Mm. So it was just a really interesting mix of people. It's a very eclectic crowd. <laughs> well, you know, one thing you said about the wait, we waited only about a half hour or so and uh, and had a great mango martini, or mm. margarita, pardon me, and it was really amazing. And there was a little bit of chill coming through that door. It was a cold winter night, but it really got you into the having a cocktail mood. Yeah. And then margaritas really sounded very good. It was, well, and it was wonderful. Mango margarita if in the middle of winter. If we're talking about booze, the caipadinas <laughs> there are absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys got a chance to try oh, them. The caipirinhas. Mm -hmm. It's actually a traditional Brazilian drink, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. and it's made with this rum-like alcohol. It's called cachaça. They're so good.